I don't mind the denunciations, frankly. I mind the lies. I mean, intellectuals are very good at lying. They're professionals at it. You know, wonderful technique. There's no way of responding to it. If somebody calls you, a, you know, an anti-Semite, what can you say? I'm not an anti-Semite. You know, somebody says you're, you're a racist, you're a Nazi or something. There's, you always lose. I mean, the person who throws the mud always wins yeah. because there's no way of responding to such charges. Professor Chomsky seems to believe that the people he criticizes fall into one of two classes, liars or dupes. Consider what happens when I discuss the case of Robert Faurisson. Let me recall the facts. Uh, let's not go into details, please, because... Do the we details got... happen to be important. Yes, but I have only one question on the Faurisson question. Do the facts matter or don't they matter? They, of course they do. Well, yeah, let me yeah. tell you what the facts are. Uh -huh. Faurisson says that the, that the massacre of the Jews in the Holocaust no! is a historic lie. No. Now, this is, an imp this is an important one. It has a lot to do with the topic. Your views are extremely controversial, and perhaps one of the, one of the things that has been most controversial and you've been most strongly criticized for was your defense of a, a French intellectual who was suspended from his university post for contending that there were no Nazi death camps in World War II. My name is Robert Forisson. I am 60. I am university professor in Lyon, France. Behind me, you may see the courthouse of Paris, the Palais de Justice. In this place, I was convicted many times at the beginning of the 80s. I was charged by nine associations, mostly Jewish associations, for uh, inciting hatred racial hatred, for racial defamation, for damage by falsifying a story. Professor Chomsky and a number of other intellectuals signed a petition in which Fourisson is called a respected professor of literature who merely tried to make his findings public. Perhaps we can start with just the story of uh... Robert Forisson and uh, your involvement. More than 500 people signed, maybe 600, uh, mostly uh, universitaires, uh, scholars. And what happened to the other 499 of them? How come we only hear about Chomsky's signature? Well, I think it's because Chomsky is in himself a kind of political power. I signed a petition calling on the tribunal to defend his civil rights. At that point, the French press, which apparently has no conception of freedom of speech, uh, concluded that since I had called for his civil rights, I was therefore defending his theses. Faurisson then published a book in which he tried to prove that the Nazi gas chambers never existed. What we deny is that there was an extermination program and an extermination, actually, especially in gas chambers or gas vans. The book contains a preface written by Professor Chomsky in which he calls Faurisson a relatively apolitical sort of liberal. A communist is a man, a Jew is a man, a Nazi is a man, I am a man. Are you a Nazi? I am not a Nazi. How would you describe yourself Politically. Nothing. The preface that you wrote, where no, you no, that's, it? No, that's not the preface, preface that I wrote because I never wrote a preface. You and did. you know that I never wrote a preface. Yeah, we had to be done uh, He's referring to a statement of mine on civil liberties, which was added to a book in which Florissant, excuse me. Yes, I and use the sir. language you use has meaning. That's right. And, and, the, and the language I use. Any political liberal or what? as someone whose views can be dignified by the word findings or conclusions, that is a judgment and that is a favorable judgment of oh, his views. Oh, on the contrary. Can I continue with the fact? <laughs> yes, you can continue with the facts for hours, but, but, but I mean, but, but there, there are, are a few crucial. facts that, yeah, okay. Well, let's get to the so-called yeah. preface. Huh? Uh, I was then asked by the person who organized the petition yeah. to write a statement on freedom of speech. Yeah. Just 
banal comments uh -huh. about freedom of speech, pointing out the difference between uh -huh. defending a person's right to express his views and defending the views expressed. So I did that. I wrote a rather banal statement called Some Elementary Remarks on Freedom of Expression, mm -hmm. uh, and I told him, do what you like with it. So uh, Pierre produced a book which all the arguments of Florisson were to be put in front of the court. And we thought, uh, wise, uh, to use the text of Noam Chomsky as a kind of warning, a foreword, uh, to say that it was a matter of freedom of expression, freedom of thought, freedom of research. Why did you try at the last moment to get it back from that's the That's the one thing I'm sorry about. But the that's, one the real, that's the no, real it's important not. thing. It's of not. Course, Even the fact you, that I tried to recall it. In, with that you said it was wrong of no, you I to didn't. do it. See, in fact, take a look at what I, I, I wrote a letter, which was mm -hmm. then publicized, in which I said, look, things have reached the point mm -hmm. where the French intellectual community simply is incapable of understanding the issues. Mm -hmm. At this point, it's just going to confuse matters even more if my uh, comments on freedom of speech happen to be attached to this book, which I don't, didn't know existed. So just to clarify things, you better separate them. Now, in retrospect, I think I probably shouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. I should have just said, fine, then let it appear, because it ought to appear. Mm -hmm. But that's, uh, apart from that, uh, I regard this as not only trivial, but as compared with other positions I've taken on freedom of speech, invisible. I do not think that the state ought to have the right to determine historical truth and to punish people who deviate from it. I'm not willing to give the state that right, even if they happen to but call what's true. But are you denying that the gas chambers ever First existed? Not. But I'm saying if you believe in freedom of speech, you believe in freedom of speech for views you don't like. I mean, Goebbels was in favor of freedom of speech for views he liked, right? So was Stalin. If you're in favor of freedom of speech, that means you're in favor of freedom of speech precisely for views you despise. Otherwise, you're not in favor of freedom of speech. There's two positions you can have on freedom of speech. Now, you can decide which position you want. With regard to my defense of the utterly offensive, the, the, the people who express utterly offensive views, I have the slightest doubt that every commissar says, you're defending that person's views. No, I'm not. I'm defending his right to express them. The difference is crucial, and the difference has been understood outside of fascist circles since the 18th century. Is there anything like objectivity, or yeah. scientific objectivity, reality, as a scientist? Yeah, look, I'm not saying I defend the views. I, look, if, if, if somebody publishes a scientific article, which I disagree with, I do not say the state ought to put him in jail. Right? All right, but you don't have to support him right away and say, you know, him. I support no. him just oh, no. for the sake of yeah, everybody but, uh, saying that, fine. you know, whatever but suppose, he wants to suppose say. Suppose this guy is taken to court and charged with falsification, then I'm going to defend them even right. if I disagree. But he and that's wasn't what taken to court. Oh, you're wrong. But, they, but when did you write the support? I mean, did when you he was brought to court. And in fact, the only support that I gave him is to say he has a right of freedom of speech, period. There is no doubt in my mind that the example that I gave about the story is the Holocaust that did not exist is very, very typical. Uh, how, how much I'll give you another the, example about how, the how much of the American press believes the that Florissant has anything to say, or uh, any press? How well, much of the press in France? Since I followed, what percentage since, would you say? I'll tell you. Is, it, is I, it higher than zero? I tell is it higher you, than I'll zero? Tell you, I'll tell you. Have you ever seen anything in any newspaper me, or I'll, any journal I'll try to saying answer. that this man is anything other than okay. a lunatic? I'll try to answer. Okay. I'll try to answer. I think that uh, I just followed the That's case. That's a simple question. I followed the case five or six years ago, and mm -hmm. I happened to see that uh, Noam Chomsky was in for strong criticism, even from some of his supporters, for doing something which could be interpreted only in terms of a campaign against Israel. Going back years, I am absolutely certain that I've taken far more extreme positions on people who deny the Holocaust than you have. For example, you go back to my earliest articles and you'll find that I say that even to enter into the arena of debate on the question of whether the Nazis carried out such atrocities is already to lose one's humanity. So I don't even think you ought to discuss the issue if you want to know my opinion. But if anybody wants to refute Faurisson, there's certainly no difficulty in doing so. interesting in uh, freedom of speech and all that I have to win and that's the question and I shall win 